time up. One of my favorite Dark Percy head cannons is this one right here. It's what if Percy had fallen into Tartarus on his own. Comes up right away with a Google image search of Dark Percy, so look that up. But it basically says in Tartarus about Annabeth, Percy would not hold back. He'd make deals with all kinds of evil creatures just to stab their, them in the back seconds later. And he'd come back with the ability to bloodbend, which would completely terrify the rest of the seven. It also includes trauma bonding with Nico, and I really wish Rick included that in his series, but... But that also leads me to this comment, which I think is completely correct. Another Dark Percy headcanon was if Annabeth switched positions with Percy in The Lost Hero, and she was the one who actually went missing. Percy would literally go and burn down Mount Olympus, Hera would be dead in like a second, and that's why Hera took Percy, not Annabeth. So an obvious series where Percy's the villain is if Annabeth were to die. I'll do more on that in part 3, but I don't think Dark Annabeth is completely out of the picture. There's definitely less to support by canon, but she is a great manipulator, and she did have sympathy for Luke for a long time. I'll talk about this more in part 3 also. We never should have come in the garden. No guts, no glory. Are you ever scared of anything? Yeah. Dying alone. That's why I brought you here. Oh, I'm sorry. Why don't we just relax? We'll turn on the radio. Would you like... I'm breaking these walls down, breaking these walls.